Right, good morning all, again, um, hope you're all okay. Uh, today we're going to look at resistors in series and the first thing you need to do is jot down these rules for resistors in series and we're going to be working off these two triangles here, the voltage triangle and the power triangle. And what we're saying is that uh, when you've got two resistors in series the total resistance is simply added up, so R1 equals R. RT equals R1 plus R2. VR1, the voltage across the resistor 1, plus the voltage across the second resistor equals the total supply voltage. And the current is the same all the way around. The circuit diagram would look something like this, where you have the supply voltage connected to a resistor 1 and resistor 2 in series. I can show that in practice a little bit if I uh, get this board up again. You can see here, I've got two resistors here, R1 and R2, and I've connected them in series, like that, to the supply voltage. The supply voltage is approximately 12 volts. And um, you can see here that I can measure that supply voltage on this meter, like this. And I've got, that's 11.84, as near as damn it, 12. And what I can demonstrate is if I measure the voltage across resistor number 1, I get 4.7. And if I measure the voltage across the other one, I get 7.1. And if you add them together, that comes to about 12 volts. So that's what we're trying to prove today, that the voltages add up. Now the current flowing around the circuit is the same all the way around. So that means if I broke this circuit anywhere, say there, and put my meter there, I would get the same current as if I put my meter, say here. It doesn't matter. The current is all is the same all the way around. Okay, so what we're going to do is try and do some calculations there. What we're going to do is try and find the voltage across two resistors in series, the current flowing, and we're going to work out the power dissipated in one of the resistors. So there's R1, R2, I'll say that's 5 ohms, and that's 7 ohms. And I've got 12 volt supply. my first circuit 12 volt supply 5 ohms and 7 ohms in series I know that RT equals R1 plus R2 so that is 5 plus 7 equals 12 ohms so the total resistance is 12 ohms to work out the current IT here. I use this formula here. I'm trying to work out current, so I want to need voltage divided by resistance. So IT equals V supply divided by RT. Equals 12 divided by 12 equals 1 amp. So there's 1 amp flowing through that circuit at the moment. Okay. So I now know that there's 1 amp flowing through that circuit. I want to find out the voltage across R1. VR1 equals IT times R1 equals 1 times 5 equals 5 volts. That's VR1. VR2 equals IT times R2 equals... I'll have to go from right to that. Go further down here. I'm running out of space. Uh, uh, equals 1 times... 
7 equals 7 volts. And you can see there that these two voltages add up to 12 volts. Okay. Right, so often in questions you'll be asked also to find the power dissipated in uh, one of the resistors. Now, it's always a good idea to make a note on your drawing that you've got one amp going through there. So as you, as you get your results, put them on your circuit. Okay. So I'm going to rub that out now. Because we're going to work out the power dissipated in uh, so I've worked out it not say R1 I've worked out that uh, that's 5 volts across there and 7 volts across here so as I've worked out the figures I put them in the drawing so it's always a good idea to actually do a drawing on your piece of paper and one of the exercises I'll be doing later I'll be asking you to um, upload uh, a photograph of your sheet so I can see you working out and when you're doing these calculations it's important always to put a formula down do the substitution do the calculation and show the units so don't forget to show your units either ohms amps or volts on your working okay so if I wanted to find the power dissipated in R1 so PR1 equals we know power is current times voltage we know that current is 0.8 so it's I T times the voltage across R1 so that's 0 0.8 times 5 equals 4 watts so there I've got a formula put the cal put, substitute the figures do the calculation and there is the power of 4 watts so there's 4 watts of heat coming off resistor number 1 because remember one of the effects of electricity is heat given off the load and that's what we're asked to do so what we've done there is we found the volt drop across there and there and then we've worked out the power dissipated in R1. So the volt drop there would be like me putting my meter across that resistor and then across that resistor to measure the voltage. Okay, so if you take a look at the questions I'll put up on, um, on solar and uh, speak to you later. This afternoon we're going to do resistors in parallel. Thanks very much.